What's the difference between merging and rebasing? Say we have a master branch with changes. We then branch off into a feature branch and make additional changes. If we merge the changes from the feature branch over to master, all changes from the feature branch will be added to master. This gives us an accurate representation of the history in addition to getting all the changes combined onto master. However, if you have multiple branches, the graph becomes more difficult to read when all the branches are merged. This is where rebasing serves as a useful alternative to a cleaner graph. Rebasing takes the commits from a branch and places them onto another branch. This changes the tree structure by moving the commits and their changes into the target branch. When comparing merging and rebasing, rebasing provides a cleaner history, a more readable graph, but it's tougher to resolve conflicts. Merging preserves history, is better for merged conflicts, and it's easy to undo if you make a mistake. Let's see how this works in Git Kraken starting with merge. Here we have a dev branch with changes we need to merge into master. Drag and drop dev onto master, and then click the merge option. If there are no conflicts, the merge commit will go through, and all our changes are now on master, as shown by this merge commit. If we do run into merge conflicts, we can use Git Kraken's merge conflict tool to decide which changes we want to keep. Okay, let's go back and drag and drop dev onto master, but this time we're going to select the rebase option. This time the changes get placed onto the master branch, which looks much cleaner. And in the case where you do have conflicts after rebasing, Git Kraken also lets you resolve any conflicts with the merge tool when you select any conflicted file. All right, not too bad, right? If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel or watch other videos in this series. And hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.